Welcome back to daytime. It's soda time. A fizzy festival is coming back to our neck of the woods after having to take a pause last year because of COVID. The third annual Sebring Soda Festival set to make its triumphant return the first weekend of April. Write that down. We have event spokesperson Casey Wall here with a taste test sample. Though it's not just a taste test, it's a taste quiz. It's yes. a challenge. It's being put to the test. Yeah, game on. Uh, is Here's the thing, when I think soda, I think of like three brands. So what kind of variety are we unaware of that we're going to see when we come to the festival? So why there's a festival in Sebring is that we have a craft soda shop on our circle in downtown. It carries 300 different types of craft soda. So craft soda is sodas that is, is batched in small, small quantities. Um, so you're going to find flavors that you've never seen before as far as soda. But if you think of a flavor, we have it. Everything from the traditional cola to super, what's a super bizarre one, for example? Um, I've seen everything from lemon meringue pie <laughs> to um, I've seen a sangria soda. I don't see um, what's I want bizarre that one. Espresso, that, yeah. yeah, everything. So we, we've got all kinds of things. And the great thing about this festival, it is outside, it is all outdoors, um, and you get to sample the sodas. If you do see something you like or find something you like, you can buy it, of course. Um, but it's a lot of fun. What I love about the festival, it's multi-generational. Mm. So you've got the kids there loving the sodas, but then you've also got you know, mom and dad and the grandparents who are seeing things that they haven't seen since their childhood. Because you have vintage ones, right? We have like, vintage which, ones, Which yeah. are the old ones that you've got? We've got Moxie. Um, we've got... I uh, love that word. I well, it is Moxie. a fun word. It's but the best adjective. <laughs> I wanted to get to Moxie because my last market, I was in Massachusetts, and New England has claimed Moxie. It's their nectar. Yep. It's the only thing that they'll drink. They won't touch Dr. Pepper. Like, is we it want from Moxie. Maine originally? Is that it's the from, one? It's from the New England area, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So I feel different. like cause, because Tampa is such a conglomerate of other areas that move down here, you're going to get a lot of people coming who get to get a piece of their childhood that they haven't seen in a long time. We do see that a lot. And that's one of the great things that we hear about the festival. It's like, oh my gosh, this takes me back. So awesome. Um, it's fun. Well, let's get an idea of what people will experience when they go. Sure. So tell us what you've brought. So we've brought a couple, three samples for you guys if you want to taste them and then guess what you think that flavor is. Okay, which one ah. should we start we'll with? We'll start with a pink one. We have okay. a pink one. So I'm assuming it's probably like a pink I'm, lemonade flavor. I'm, I'm guessing, guessing like this. a cherry. Let's a see. A cherry, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 Oh, wait. Licorice? No. Wait, no, 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 no. no. This is something very specific and I, I, mm, I know. You mm. know that taste, don't you? I know. I know Pepto Bismol? No, <laughs> kidding. It's actually really good. What is that? I know it too. This is hurting me. It tastes good, but it's hurting me that I, mm. I know it and yeah. yet I can't place it. Um, I don't know. Okay. Cough drop. I'm out. Yeah. It is a cinnamon red hot. Cinnamon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a piece of big yep. red yeah. gum. Oh, Fireball. Fire exactly. Fire exactly. That's the Boots uh, beverage one right in front of you. Cool. Um, that's actually from Texas, but it is called a cinnamon red hot soda. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Why yeah. couldn't we figure that out, Maggie? I don't I, know. I was like, I know We're not this soda is. We're not uh, connoisseurs. Yeah. 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 All right, uh, number two? Yeah, number two. This is the dark it's one? A cola. Yeah. It's a cola. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm smelling it like wine. <laughs> I mean, it tastes like Moxie, so I'm, I'm just, I'm locking in. Like a root beer? Yeah, it's like okay. a root beer. Okay. Yeah. Um, Maggie's the closest. It is a salted caramel root beer. Ooh. Oh, yeah. that's fun. Yeah. All I need is a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's yes. a float. Yeah, and they do have, at the soda shop, they do have floats, so you can pick your soda and pick your ice cream and then make a float, so that is fun, too. That one's good. Yeah. All right. So last one, three, the clear one. This one's clear, so you, you can't bring your Ooh, pre- Right. Uh, this one smells like cucumber. Oh, it does smell like cucumber. And it tastes like cucumber. Mmm, my favorite. It tastes like spa water. <laughs> <laughs> winner, winner, winner. You're exactly ding, right. Ding, ding. It's a cucumber. It's in the green bottle. It's a Mr. Q uh, cucumber flavored soda. Oh. Very refreshing. Very good for cocktails. Yeah. Yes. Put it in your eyes when you relax. <laughs> you the, what is that cream you put in your face? You yeah. put the cucumbers in your eyes? What is that? Face you know, cream. It's face Nivea. Cream. Yeah. I always wanted to know <laughs> like what that the old was. Commercial. <laughs> yeah. So That's it's a lot wonderful. of fun. The SeabringSodaFest.com is the website, and it's April 2nd and 3rd. Free? Free. Free to attend. Yep. Fantastic. Yep. Is yep. it, like, are these all locally made? They're not locally made. Okay. They're from all over the country, and, and we do have some things from China and Mexico oh. as well. Yes, it's yes, I saw that you're having jarritos, yeah, which exactly. I love with a good taco. I love how you say that. <laughs> um, so Thank yeah, you. but it's it's a lot of fun. It, the tastings you do have to pay for a tasting ticket, okay. but it's free to attend the festival. Dog friendly, and so bring your whole family. Sounds good. April second and third. Yes. All right, in Sebring. Yeah. Thank you so much, Casey Wall, and we will be right back.